Hello my guys, gals, and non-binary pals, and welcome back to another video. So it is the start of a new month, and if you don't know what that means, then clearly you haven't been subscribed to this channel for long enough. So at the start of every month, I make a new OC video where I take one of my OCs and explain their story, how they fit into my overarching story, things like that. I have a playlist of those videos which is in the description below and I'd recommend you watch the first one which is Haley's video since it gives context for the universe and then the last video which was Crystal's video since that plays into this character. Also please subscribe. I've been trying to reach 2k for a while now and we've, we're so close so please hit that subscribe button to make it happen. And on with the video. So okay I actually don't know if or if I do where I have any drawings of this character. I think I have like some sketches here or there on like loose leaf paper. I know what he looks like so I can draw him but I don't have like any pictures to show you of him. So this character is named Brock, he's a goblin, and he's Crystal's twin brother. He was originally made to just be like Crystal but gender bent, honestly. He didn't really have a plot or a story. He was just literally Crystal and Crystal's story but gender bent. So like a lot of Crystal's old story was about like her crush on Evie. And a lot of his old story was about his crush on Jacob. And it, it was just the same story but gender bent. Same dynamic but gender bent. So I didn't really have anything to work off of when creating this character because it was just the same character that I was working on last week, you know? Um, and so that's what I didn't want to do. I love his design and I want to make him his own character and I had plenty of ideas for how to do that. So personality wise, I wanted him to be like, a much nicer person and a very responsible person and honestly just the only one who has their stuff together in this whole entire cast okay so um he's very used to like cre cre i wish i could talk he's very used to like cleaning up after crystal and fixing her messes you know he's like always the person to hang behind and be like hey sorry for her whenever she's causing chaos and like you know he's seen as like the good child you know he gets good grades he has he, he's just like in every aspect of his life doing great so like he's kind of seen as the perfect child and obviously that's not great for crystal since you know she has her problems so fun stuff there <laughs> but brock's like the only one who's mentally okay so yeah, he's a very kind person, very sweet. He's kind of like the dad of the friend group. He likes to be responsible for people. But unlike the other characters who I've described as having kind of like a parental relationship with other people, Brock isn't like doing it in a way that's detrimental to his mental health. So yeah, he kind of likes to clean up after everyone's messes, tries and helps them. I guess he's a therapist friend. That's the better way of putting it. So in terms of his design, like Crystal, he was one of the newer ones. And I already liked him a lot. Um, you can see in the little design sketching I did on the left, I drew his like old design to my best approximation. So there's a little sketch of that. Pretty much just Crystal, except his hair is in a bun. So... I took a lot of elements from his old design, a lot of elements from Crystal's design, and kind of combined them. I also did take like Crystal's bangs and just flip them, so it's the same thing but reversed. Uh, but he puts his hair in a bun, and their outfit's pretty similar, um, except I think I didn't give him boots, or I did like something different with his shoes. Crystal just wears really thick boots because she likes to be tall and intimidating but Rock just likes that cool style of his shoes, okay? He doesn't need to be tall. The design is pretty much just crystal, but gender bent. I'm not gonna deny that, but there's a reason for it. Like, I feel like Crystal and Brock really like to lean into like 
that twin trope, you know? They like to, like, uh, you know, on, or on High School Host Club, the, the twins there, how they would, like, lean into it and dress the same and sometimes, like, swap places and in the host club they have, like, the same personality. Imagine, like, that type of thing. Around strangers, they like to pretend to be, like, that trope of twins where, like, they're just the same person. Which, it's kind of making fun of myself because that's originally how I made these characters. But, you know, truthfully, they're actually very different people. And Brock just likes to dress this way because they've, like, been dressing the same as kids. And it's kind of funny, you know, to give people the wrong message. And for his story, um, once again, a lot of this... There isn't much to talk about, um, mainly because he's less fleshed out than most of the other characters since he had very little to start with and he's my newest character um, out of the whole cast. And uh, also because, once again, he kind of has everything together. His main role is to like help people with their character development, um, help acclimate them to main high, but like unlike crystal who will do that but like she doesn't want to help as much brock is like the one who wants to help them crystal would probably teach you about this universe by shaming you for not understanding it while brock would like actively like to explain stuff to you and help you acclimate to the world but yeah he he's mainly gonna be there to push other people's character development to help them to be like the adult of these people he's gonna be the responsible one and especially for jacob and crystal he's gonna be one of the characters really leading those two's um character development especially jacob's i feel like in terms of like his dreams and what he wants to do with his life and hobbies and stuff um i feel like he wants to open a yoga studio in main high like, Main High is a much smaller community, so I think it makes sense if it wouldn't have one. And I feel like Brock wants to be, you know, like, the first person to open up a yoga studio there. Because, you know, he's the only one with, like, good mental health. I feel like he does yoga and, like, meditates and, you know, likes to exercise. Like, once again, he is the one everyone would look at and, like, kind of hate because he is so perfect. But at the same time, he's such a nice person that you can't hate him. That's Brock. So after doing all this work for his character and his design, I did one final drawing to test out all of this. Like I said, he's a lot less fleshed out, so there isn't much to draw on to make his final drawing. But I did um, end up deciding to just have him there meditating. It's kind of similar to Crystal's wrong, where I liked showing her in a more peaceful place. Except, in this case, Brock is actually a really peaceful person. You know, really nice, really chill. Um, so I like how he's like, he got this like bad boy vibe with his whole outfit. And then like, he's actually just a really chill dude who likes meditating in his free time. So I like showing that uh, juxtaposition in this drawing. There wasn't too much I struggled with in this drawing, except the symmetry on it is horrible. So it feels like everything's centered at different points. Like the body is at a different center axis than the neck, which is different from the face, which is different from the shirt. And it's like really weird. Also like the ears are pretty asymmetrical, but oh well. Then I also struggled a bit with the cross-legged position. Whenever I draw like cross legs, I tend to just have the legs really angled and the like feet are touching each other instead of like the, the legs actually crossing over each other. So I wanted to push myself to actually have cross legs this time, but it got too difficult so I gave up. <laughs> I mean like I'll work on it at some point, but for now who really cares it looks fine the hands are a bit wonky as well i feel like they should be like curving over the knees instead of just being on top of the legs i don't know there's something off about them can't quite place it but i don't like them then when it came to the background i didn't really know what to put there so it's fairly empty 
there's just a mat and then a wall and a flooring. And I also really struggled with coming up with colors for this. So I wanted the background to be mainly pinks to complement the greens of his skin tone. But then like I couldn't find three different shades of pink that would work for the floor and the wall and the mat. So in the end I had the floor a very light pink and then like a medium pink for the background and the carpet rug mat mat that sort <laughs> um i'm still not that happy about it but oh well then i shaded everything in a darker color of that color um added in some highlights the drawing was really simple honestly like it's not the most impressive i've done uh in these oc videos i've done a lot of like insane drawings here i mean insane for my standards i put a lot of time and effort into a lot of these drawings this one wasn't really one it was just a fun simple drawing which brock doesn't have like any drawings so good he he needs some drawings out here anything helps i do like it though i think it's kind of cute uh anyway if you did like this video despite how short it was <laughs> once again he has everything under control even the drawing i made of him not too much of a struggle so not much to say with him unlike my other characters but if you did like the video please make sure to like and subscribe also comment down below any questions you have about the characters or universes and follow my social media because if i do make this into a webcomic at one point uh which i do plan on doing i'll probably give updates to that on social media so you better be there and i'll see you all next week